Umbrellas first appeared over 3,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. These first umbrellas were made from palm leaves. While palm leaf umbrellas were easy to make and block the sun, they lacked any sort of water protection from the rain. So, these were not real umbrellas in the modern sense. A little after umbrellas appeared in ancient Egypt, they spawned separately in the Chinese Empire. These umbrellas were made of leather, and while they were better at deflecting water, they were less readily available and quite heavy. Paper umbrellas were also soon developed and used all over the world. These were readily available, but did little for water protection. However, in Greece, oiled paper umbrellas were developed, which were more waterproof than normal umbrellas. While the lipids in the oil cannot be considered polymers, they are still important materials in the umbrella. Lipids are nonpolar and repel water, which increases their ability to keep people underneath them dry. Hundreds of years passed before any further innovation was made with regards to umbrellas. Fast forward to 1700 CE in Britain, however, and modifications began to be made once more. Working for decades, they eventually started to use U-shaped rods for support for the umbrella and also made it more waterproof. After this, many innovations were made to improve umbrellas to the level they are at today, most of which were made in America. In the 1960s, umbrellas began to be made with nylon. Nylon is a waterproof fiber, and it is also inexpensive and lightweight. This made it ideal for umbrellas, and it is still the primary polymer in umbrellas today. Also used are many microfibers for superior waterproofing, as well as materials such as Teflon. And that is the history of the umbrella.